Hey everyone, this is David Brown from Lycobirds. In this video, I will cover the identification of the three falcon species that are common in the eastern USA, the American kestrel, merlin, and peregrine falcon. Let's begin with the American kestrel. The kestrel is a small falcon, often seen in open areas such as farmland where they nest in tree cavities. The male is spotted underneath and has an orange tail with black tip. The female has streaking on the breast and a banded tail. Note the pointed wingtips, which is a trait of all of our falcons. Male kestrels have wings that are blue and black and contrast against an orange back. Females are a more consistent orange-brown color with black patterning. A topside view really shows the color differences between males and females. On the adult male on the left, note the rufous breast. The amount of rufous coloring is variable and young males may not have any. Take a look at the tail. The outer tail feathers on males are banded and completely hide the orange of the other feathers when the tail is folded. Also take note of the bold facial pattern of both males and females. Kestrels have a more buoyant flight style than our other falcons. They can also hover, where they face into the wind and flap, allowing them to stay motionless in the sky while they watch for prey below, as the female in this photo is doing. The merlin is our other small falcon, just slightly larger than the kestrel. Note the dark streaking below and plain facial pattern. The tail of the merlin is dark with thin white bands. In this perched photo, we see the dark streaking along with the banded tail. Note the weak mustache lines on the face. Merlins have a strong and aggressive flight style, much different from the more relaxed and buoyant flight of the kestrel. Note the dark eyes, which is another field mark to distinguish falcons from sharp-shinned and cooper's hawks, which have yellow or red eyes. Merlins frequently harass other raptors. This merlin is diving on a northern harrier. On top, merlins are plain and dark, but there is some variation. In the east, we see the tiger race of merlin, but be aware that out west there are also the darker black merlin and lighter prairie merlin. Adult males are also more blue than females and juveniles. This merlin caught a dragonfly and is resting on a snag to eat it. The peregrine falcon is a large falcon. Note the bold mustache and overall helmeted appearance. Adults have dark barring on the underside. Juveniles have dark vertical streaking underneath. Peregrine falcons are the fastest animal on the planet, which allows them to easily hunt other birds. This peregrine is going after a flock of pigeons. Peregrine falcons nest on cliffs, but have also adapted to man-made structures such as buildings and bridges. Peregrine falcons sometimes harass larger raptors such as bald eagles and turkey vultures. All three of our falcon species have pointed wingtips and are strong flyers that flap frequently. They all have dark eyes and distinctive facial patterns. Here is one final summary of how to distinguish between them. Kestrels are small and appear light underneath. They have a more buoyant and less aggressive flight style. They can also hover. Look for the orange or rufous highlights that kestrels show compared to the dark blue plumage of the other species. Merlins are slightly larger than kestrels and darker. They have the weakest facial pattern of the three. Their flight style is strong and direct. They seem to fly with an attitude and frequently harass other raptors. Peregrines are large and powerful, with a bold facial pattern that gives them a helmeted appearance. They have adapted well to urban areas where they prey on birds. If you found this information helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. You can also visit our website at lycobirds.com for more educational birding content. This is David Brown. Thanks for watching.